After working with hundreds of contractors around the country on their marketing and on their business, I've realized that there's a really common misconception going around that marketing is gonna fix all of your problems or that marketing exists in a bubble. Now it's super common for us to take on a customer who has been doing their own marketing for their business for many years. And as soon as they hire us, they stop doing everything else and they just they think, okay, this company is gonna do all of it. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, unless you specifically hire us to do all of the things that you were doing before, we're not gonna do all those things. And so, for example, you know, you hire us to do your website and to get you on Google Maps and to do some advertising for you, but you don't hire us to do anything on Facebook or Instagram or other social medias or email marketing or something like that. And you just stop doing those things. And this is something I've seen over and over again for a while where we'll be working with a client for a year or two and we'll go and we'll look at their Facebook profile or page and they haven't posted in two years. And the thing about marketing is it's like a momentum game. You do a little bit every day or every week and you work on it on a consistent basis and things slowly build up and build up. And what's happening is these companies like Google and Facebook, they reward you for being consistent, for being active because their customers are are the viewers, right? People that watch YouTube or scroll on Facebook all the time, they need new stuff to look at all the time. And so Facebook shows them the content creators that are creating stuff all the time. And so if you do that for a while and you start to get some results and you think, oh, okay, cool, I've done enough. I don't have to do this anymore. You're wrong. If you stop creating, if you stop posting new things, Facebook or Google or whoever is gonna stop showing you to people. It always only makes sense, right? They're not gonna show the same stuff you posted to the same people over and over again because those people are going to get bored of it and they're not going to do it anymore. So, you know, as a business owner, you're ultimately responsible for the success of your business. And just because you hire somebody to do something doesn't mean that you just never have to pay attention to it or look at it again. Everything in business is tied together, your marketing included. And as you sell more projects and complete more projects, you should be paying attention to the bigger picture and seeing what kind of opportunities are best for you. In my construction business, we do general remodeling. We build everything, interiors, exteriors, we'll build a house, we'll knock a house down, we'll finish a basement, we do everything. But over the years, I realized that I really like doing bathrooms, uh, bathroom remodels. We could get in and get out pretty quick. We could do a project in a couple weeks. We could send one or two guys there because there's not really enough room for too many people to, to walk around. And there's a lot of things going on in a bathroom. You know, you still have four walls, a ceiling, a floor, you have a shower, you have a lot of things going on. And so there's a lot of work to do and a lot of places to make money. So I found that I really like those kinds of jobs. And so I changed the business on the marketing side to focus on getting more bathrooms. And I uh, honed in our estimating process for bathrooms so that we could estimate much quicker and much more easily. And I streamlined my relationships with certain vendors so that I could get the stuff for bathrooms that we needed quickly and easily. So everything kind of morphed and changed to focus on bathrooms and we were able to do these projects much more efficiently and make more money at it. And so that's what you've got to do in your business. You have to look for those things that are going to make you more money or whatever your goals might be. Maybe you like certain, working on certain projects more or you find that your team, your employees are better at certain projects than others and you want to focus on those more. So your marketing has to focus on that, your sales has to focus on that, and your operations has to focus on that. Everything works together. Marketing does not work in a bubble. It's not something that you can just abdicate to somebody else and never think about it again. If you do that, eventually it's gonna lead to problems. So pay attention to the big picture, marketing included.